It's a re-recurrence for an Australian to get their breakthrough through New Zealand rugby and return back to the Wallabies. But today's Super Rugby Reject target has done exactly that. Born in Australia, broke through to professional rugby with Tasman and the Crusaders for moving back to go to the Brumbies and, of course, the Wallabies. This guy, he really is something special. What's going on, everyone? Hope you're all doing well and welcome back along to your home of rugby and the Super Rugby Rejects. Today we go back to Bordeaux, who you may notice they don't have Big Ben Tummy Inferno anymore because we nicked him! That's right, he can no longer turn out for Bordeaux. We've got him on our side. That makes Bordeaux a weaker team. Today we come back and we're looking for another victim. Is it Guido Petty? No, not today. Maybe Adam Coleman. Tell you, we, we probably do need to look for another second rower. We could also look for some in the backs as well, like Ben Tapawai. Another option we could be picking up. But you may notice the meat in the sandwich that we've missed out. And a man that played for the Wallabies and broke through of the Crusaders. Pete Samu is the man we will be targeting today. And you may be going, oh, why? We've got a really stacked back row already. Yeah, we've got three guys. We need a load more than that, let's be honest, to build a complete squad. Pete Samu will be the target, and the pressure now is on the likes of Taufua, Lizana, and Luatua to step up to the plate. Now, how exactly did Pete Samu qualify for the Super Rugby Rejects? Well, like I spoke about in the intro, he made his real breakthrough in the MPC in New Zealand, born in Melbourne, moving to New Zealand to play in the MPC. Tasman was the team he did the damage with. The Crusaders, part of the catchment area with Tasman, of course, called him up, where he played a number of games through that team over three years. Then, of course, he moved to Australia. And many thought he was the one that got away from New Zealand rugby. But, of course, a born Australian, he always was determined to make his way back. For the Wallabies. He turned out for the Brumbies, ticked all the boxes and played over 20 tests for the Wallabies before moving to Bordeaux. We know all about him in Super Rugby as well. Powerful, very fast, very much similar to the mould of an Ardi Savia type of player but didn't really break away on the international scene like we would have expected. Of course the Rejects though have got a new man in their team as well to really pump up our forward pack and he goes by the name of the veteran Argentinian, Augustine Clevey. We are falling a little bit behind the uh, debut tries as well. So let's see if we can actually have a cruisy game, get ourselves a couple of debut tries, and let's make sure we get Pete Samu into this back row. The question is, though, where does he go? Because none of these guys really deserve to ride the pine, but it's all about depth, and we've got none on the bench behind these guys. Okay, so point. Tyler Ardron is covering second row and back row, technically, if we have an injury. But of course, we've got Andrew Ritty there now as well. Alpha Ardron, we have Escuda and Tukulet, so we're getting there. We are getting there. Hopefully today, we can have Pete Samu and put real pressure on using some reserves. Okay, let's get things underway here. Jimmy Gompeth rolls up for yet another Starting appearance in this reject side, he kicks things off. And of course, the rejects in the yellow. Bono in the nice burgundy red tonight. And after the last couple of episodes, we've had not only big scores and high performances, we've also had very tough defense as well from Sale last episode. Here's a pick and go, looking to switch play down to the left hand side, and a massive hit and room down the left here. Well, Ivani looking to spark like he does for France so often. Gets up to halfway. Luku goes short. Police. And the rejects very quickly here on this back foot like they are an awful lot. Got the inside ball there as they look to infuse themselves Police. down the left. Persisting with that short channel play. Now they open it up to the right hand side. On the inside ball finding room. And held up in the tackle though. We see guys like Ben Tapaway. Hard on attack as this is a great ball here from Bordeaux. We don't want to concede first. We always seem to concede first. Walla Walla was defensively up in the line there. As Not releasing. Tim Nero Williams goes in for the tackle. And penalty to the Super Rugby Rejects. Now, is this too far out? You know what? We're going to give it a crack. 55. Slight angle to the right. 
Let's see what Jimmy's got in his locker. Oh, a hard breeze that's going to push it away. Don't know about this one. If he hits the mark, it may swirl in. Goffith hits it. It's swirling. It's swirling. It's short. Oh, it's just a meter or two short. And they'll run it back, Bordeaux. We've got a good bit of territory Release. from that at least. As Lozana hits the ruck. Keeping it tight. And all floating. All through the forwards here, Bordeaux. Release. A lot of early possession here, which is really starting to cause us all sorts of issues. Coming to the left-hand side. Beyond the players and the numbers, it's cleaning. Makes a great tackle. Again, defensive stability is something we have lacked. Lusu with the carry. Lozana goes into the ruck. Giving all the forwards one score. No tummy Furna anymore. But they're still using that pack as much as they can. A kick away from Tupperwhite. And surprisingly, it's found touch easily. Well, it's not like they're going nowhere there. They really were putting the pressure on. And now the rejects have a chance. Oh, they moved. I mean, Creamy in the team. And Cleavy is throwing his first line out completely astray. This is a troublesome thing already. Here they come down this left side. Buddy Marie looking to once again incise himself into the defense. It's all been pulled out early. Lusu and Holgaard having Not a for crack and he's on a penalty. Back it goes to the rejects. Luku with the mistake, no support. And we are playing some troublesome rugby at the moment I tell you what Jimmy Goffith smokes us into touch he gets the approval of the one Englishman Joe Martin I mean Creamy needs to hit his mark here he's absolutely got to hit his mark throw stolen again oh it's all falling apart for Creamy Bolo come out wide Pino kicks ahead Bolo will take that one in the sleep Looks to return. Great chase, though. Damien Pinot on that ball. Not often we see the rejects under this much early pressure. Not just on the scoreboard, but of course, around the park as well. Neither team getting any points on the board yet. Here's Fafita. Bumps away one. Offloads to Luatua. Cleavy. Nice to margin. Away to Goppin. Now the old leagues are rolling for Jimmy Goppin. Away for Canetas. Has he got the wheels? The chase is coming in. And Mateo Canetas will break the heart of a very stout Bordeaux side. Oohs and ahs go around the park as the rejects finally manage to break out. It's been a toil, it really has, but the forwards finally got their magic working. And Mateo Canetis finally was able to get those legs rolling. And a big breakaway try. Man, oh man, we have been under the pressure. Goffith the creator, eventually. But it was the forwards, certainly, that did the real damage in the middle of the park. Here is Goffith. Now it's the conversion, not like the first one. Obviously the penalty, falling short today. This one, he's nailed it perfectly. Half an hour gone. Rejects up, seven points to nil. Kicked off from Bordeaux. Looking for a little bit of more position here. Tommy Afuna, Skelton, the way to Goppin, and it could be happening again for Martin. The way to Mpimpi, and the wheel's got an there. Marcus All is gone, and Mpimpi will grab try number two, and the Rejects turn on the entertainment. And Bordeaux are left clutching at straws. Well, when they go, they most certainly can go. Not the greatest passes, very static behind the player. But Mapimpi has got the wheels. And we are seeing very much, like we saw against La Rochelle, the wingers in the right places. Carreras, Mapimpi. On the end of some great backline moves. The numbers game proving very effective. Even though the line out is not doing much for them, the rejects today. 
Jimmy Copper there, it's a couple more, it's 14 points to nil. Serious look on the face of Jimmy Gopeth here. Of course, if we do manage to bring in Pek Samu today, it will be the only true number eight we have on the side. It's Tim Nello Williams gives away to Cleavy. Tommy Afuna looking for a way through. He's dancing as Big Ben. Kits off. Back to Gopeth. In the 22, he looks long and he looks for Taj. Oh, it's a mistake. It's a massive error at the back. And it's a line out for the rejects. Although there's not much saying that that is an advantage. Here is Kalimi. Throws it in. Hits his mark for once. Kalimi is the first receiver. He's gone straight through. Right up to the 22. Looking for this third try. Short to Tommy Afuna. Looking for his second try will be in a reject shirt. Hogan looks for Lovatoa. Dolphins through to the line. Lovatoa is short. Love on under the six here. Back to Talfua. Bumbled away. And he's short. Where's the next option? To the left side. Lazana over the top to the Pepe. The forward sucked him in. And Thomas Lazana floats it over the top for the try. Exquisite finishing. Carry after carry, so close. Talfua could argue he was over there. But watch this. Lazana drew, floated, and got the reward. Third try of the first half. Regents are cooking. Now they just need to keep this pressure up. And Pete Samu will be coasting home with the Regents. Bordeaux will be seriously depleted. Especially that pack without Tamiya Funa. Potentially Samu on his way out now as well. He's going to need a big second half from the Bordeaux Bagler side. So they trail three tries to nil. But how about the possession and territory? Reject showing they don't need to hold the ball for long to put points on the board. More line breaks, less ball, less territory, more work on defense. But when they strike, they go hard. That only 20 minutes from Bordeaux was concisive. It was deliberate. It was extremely strong. But you know what they failed to do? They failed to put points on the board. And that's, well, that's going to cost them. Shoving air back to halfway. And gets the game back into action for Porto. Creamy on the boot. Well, here's some experience for you. He's just smoked this downtown. He's seen the stats at halftime. And he said, this is not how we want to play rugby. Pick and go. Luku going up to Timmy Lund. Lazana's on him as it's cleaning. Big turnover. Now Martian straight things up as he does well. Lazana in there like a flash. Hogard holds it up. Fafita sweeps away one. Throws the offload to Hogard who gets it back. Bonamore's up on the line. That's a danger. Nano Williams gets stripped. Good defense from Pino. No one defending to the left here. It was real dangerous, but Pimpy gets the ball straight away. Looks to step. Oh, he's in trouble for Fita. Bundled into Sarge, but Pimpy almost tricked himself into touch there with some fancy footwork. Looking for that fourth try, the rejects. Line out comes in. Claimed easily. Coleman in the middle. And a little chip over the top. It's claimed by Gopeth. And here is Carreras. But backwards. Danger zone here for Porto once more. Fafita loves to be in a tackle or two. Loves good support too. If he can get it from his teammates. To the left they go. Skelton. Back in for Luatua. Back over the contact area. Oh, it's turned over brilliantly. Look how full was there in a flash. Carreras. Oh, no. Carreras goes flying high. Oh, no. And Carreras is going to face a yellow card. Cleaving first match as captain. 
and the yellow card is being dished out. And Mateo Kalinas is off to the bin for 10. Okay, how do we deal with this? Bordeaux have been the better team. But somehow we lead 21 0. Lack of ability to put it away as that's a good turnover from Fafita. Here is Marco Zola running hard and all fighting to cop it. Why not Fafita? Oh, the big boys are all lining up here. Lozana coming back the other way. Can he offline? He can. Cleavy back to Skelton. Drops it. Nino Williams. Cop it. Steps back inside. Take him down. Great tackle. What the forward's got now? Fafita! Oh, he's straight through! Fire for Fafita! Try and rejects! He's been phenomenal tonight! His fire for Fafita! Multiple tackle breaks, multiple opportunities, and he gets the reward with a try. Well, they took it up a notch here, the rejects. They really did. Man in the bin, and they played as if they were in sevens. Fafita cutting through a massive hole, putting on the fans. Exquisite finish by the big man. Well, the back row pressure certainly coming on now. With a prospect of Pete Samu joining the ranks. You think we're in a position now that we could probably make some changes? I feel like we are. I feel like we are. 20 minutes to go. Let's get the subs on, 28 points to nil. Should have done it before the kick, but alas, we will do it just before Bordeaux kick off here. Next stoppage, they will come on. Let's do it now. Let's get the changes in. Who have we got on the bench? Tukalek can come in. Ingo on to, well, see we can't put him on the wing uh, for Kinetis because he's off the field already. Uh, but we can go out for, I want to leave, I want to leave Volleyball. Actually, let's do this. Gopith can come off. And uh, Volavola can go to 10. We'll bring on Tukalet to fullback. We'll also bring on a change for Nello Williams on for Escura. We want to bring on uh, Afara as well. Tight head. We will leave Kalevi to play the full game. Uh, but Big Ben can come off for a rest as well. Let's roll with those changes. I didn't bring on Tyler Arjon. Oh, no. Oh, well, he can sit in the reserves for another week. Oh, that's a great take from Pinot. And a good bust down the right as well for finding touch. And that's good. We get our changes in. Sorry, Tyler. Enjoy running the water. Right, there's the changes. Took a lead. Nano Williams is good at. Tommy Afuna looks disappointed. But uh, we've got the depth now. We can actually start doing things with this team. Cleaving. That's better, Augustine. Had a bit of a wobbles at the start there of his first match. Here's Hogarth. Volavola. Oh, look out! The twinkle toes of Bear Volavola. They're at the reins. Hogard. Oh, John Afar. Look out. He's in the game now, too. Making an impression. Giving it the forwards. Oh, Lozana. Man of the heavy wall. Here's Hogard. Giving him a width here. Marchant. Looking to fend. What a pass. But it goes to no one. He really threw that wildly out the back door. And we're getting the man back from the bin. It is Kanetis. Lucky to be staying on here. Line out for Bordeaux. Have not threatened the scorers yet. And if we keep them to a Duncan special, I'll be pretty happy. 28 points to nil. Just outside the 22. It's back to 15 on 15. A little inside play. That's nice. Very well worked. Opportunity for Bordeaux as they hit near the 22. Tackles being fallen off now from the rejects. Luku once more looking left side. Palibari goes to ground. A meter or two short of the 22 again. Another pick and go on a massive hole. Luku's gone through. Looks to step to the lead. Can't get away from top four. The defense comes across. Canelo's great inside ball. And the try and score for Bordeaux. The donut has been eradicated. And Chalamere scores the try. And just like that, Bordeaux show exactly what happens when they hit their marks. Well, Pete Samu was the one that pulled it off the base. Van Luku who did very well. Top four with a desperate tackle. And even though Bali Bari could have gone himself, 
He unselfishly offloaded to this man, who could make it all seven points for himself here. Jamea with the conversion, 28 points to seven. No need to stress. We've cruised our way through. It was a scary start, but it looks like the big back rower, Pete Samu, is going to be coming home to the Super Rugby Rejects. Let's just make sure we finish this off though, shall we? Six minutes to play. Oh, we're actually kicking off there. Hold hard. Didn't notice that. Mipipi chases hard. This could be a turnover. Yeah, it is. Lazana's got the ball. Mipipi gets it back. He's over another one. Oh, monster! Huge tackle on Mipipi. Advantage. Our forward knocks it on. Well, no surprise there. Mistake Release. from the big substitute. Trying to put pressure on as they cover back. Advantage over. Eventually kicked away from Bordeaux. A little bit of strife there. We're in the top footing French club. But let's see if we can get Cleavy a little bit of a. Just to, you know, get used to these line out plays. Okay, that's much better. Cleavy just had a shocker for the first couple. Now he's on his money. Scout in the front. Pull guard to Volavola. Look out, he's going to dance again, and why not to? He drops it off. Picked up from Skelton, the way to his corner. It's corner to go, and oh no, goes to Mpipi! And it's a kingly hat track for the Springbok winger. 82 minutes gone, and it is the Rejects who take full control throughout this matchup. Cleavy, one from one as captain. And Pierre Volovola, elusive at number 10. Got absolutely smoked after the carry. His corner took it as far as he could. Wanted to go alone, but decided unselfishly to pop it out to Mapimpi. Well, it's been another game for the wingers tonight. After they saw very little ball against Sale last episode. Yellow card for Kadetis. I mean, he's going to be under threat now as well. There's a number of good outside backs. We saw Toulouse Baenu against Sale was very good. Of course, Ben Tapuai lining up here tonight in midfield. A number of guys to look out for, but this one is done. Convincing fashion from the rejects. Using subs and everything. They've done the job well. Cleavy looks happy. He had a bit of the wobbles in the start with his line out, but he came good at the end. John R. Follett. Knock on and a couple of metres, just the usual from Big John. And overall Bordeaux getting weaker by the week. As now they have lost their big man, Pete Samu, off the back row. And of course he was the one that set the pass to Luku for the line break. And then though, the Jalabert strike was all that they managed. The conversion to go with it before the rejects. It was a try to Vaifafita who was easily the MVP of this game. Mateo Canetta's got a try and a yellow card. And of course, Mbibbi picked up three special tries for the King. Jimmy Goff with four conversions and Bonavola chipped in with one of his own. Full-time stats didn't change too much. Bordeaux still overall, you'd say, nudging the better team as well as performance goes. But the Rejects just have that ability when it goes their way, they can score with absolute ease. They run their fluid best while they were against La Rochelle, but they were good enough to get the job done. And we welcome in Pete Samu to the Super Rugby Rejects. So let's get him in the team. And let's have a little bit of a mix around as to who will be sticking into that back row and who will be departing off to the bench. Okay, so let's look to get Big Pete into the squad. And I know this one's going to be a tough one as to who we will actually um, of course, Samu Karevi. Samu Karevi. Didn't think about him. Of course, Pete Samu. There he is. 84. Karevi's 90 rated. Oh, my word. But, of course, Pete Samu is 84 rated. Let's get him into the lineup. Of course, we will replace uh, Orr in the bench. There we go. Straight for a straight. Of course, Samu can play anywhere in the back row. Also can play in the second row as well if you really get a stretch. But who does he come in for? Luatua, Lizana, or Taufua. I am looking, as much as I have loved the work of Thomas Lazana, I just think these other three guys are a bit above him in terms of performance. So you can see Lazana is a bit faster, which does see him get around the park a bit better, and he's always in support compared to all three of these guys. But when it just comes to performance and out-and-out best of the best, you've got to say that we will do a shuffle around. Let me know your thoughts 
after today's episode, and we could make some changes. Have we been more impressed by the work of Luatua, Lazana, or Taufua in this team? I'm going to make this mix up straight away because technically we do have two sixes and, well, a, a seven slash eight in Taufua. I like this sort of setup. Samu to go to eight. Taufu is a genuine seven, and Luatua is a straight up six. We've got players in their best roles right there. Whereas Lazana, well, he's a blend of a six and a seven, isn't he? He's not really an eight. Taufu is not really an eight either. I find him more of a seven, especially with his time at the Crusaders. So that is, to me, a very, very good back row. And ironically enough, an all New Zealand Super Rugby back row as well with Luatua at the Blues. We've got Taufu and Samu who were Crusaders, some of course moving to the Brumbies later on as well. Of course, not the sprightly age of 27 anymore, 32 years of age, and he spent a lot of time in Super Rugby, uh, just over 100 caps collectively through the Crusaders and the Brumbies, of course. But like you see from his stats, again, not the fastest, but good aggression, good power, uh, and good catching and passing and tackling as well. So he's got the basics down, he's just a good, strong, solid number eight option for our team and of course boosts that rating as well as we look for the Australian to do some damage in this team well that'll do us for today let me know your thoughts about the back row who deserves time I think we might need to move Walla Walla into 10 even and give him a chance there to run the show from the number 10 jumper and give Jimmy Goffith a bit of a break he's been in, uh, done a lot of work throughout this series now we've got a bench we can start to move players around as well and of course other number 10 options I don't have too many, aside from what I mentioned earlier, like to the Fletcher Smiths and the Kerwin Boshes, guys like that. So definitely need to pull in another number 10. We have a stack of backline players we need to drag to this team, though. So maybe next episode, we will go to the likes of possibly uh, a, a Benetton, where we have a player we can call up there. A couple of players we can take from Benetton. Scarlets have a nice little backline player we could snaffle as well. Our star front say have a couple of backline players we could look at. Cast, of course, have one as well. Sale, we've already looked at as well. Lester Tigers, don't forget about them. Leon, have a couple we could look at. And Clermont, have a number of players. So it's likely we may go to Clermont next episode for a bit more depth, not only in the backline, but also the back row. And don't forget, we've also got players we could jump into from Connett, uh, more from Leinster, and, of course, uh, Edinburgh. i tell you what, there's still a stack of players. Saracens, boy, oh, boy, this is going to be a very, very strong team. Samu's in, though. I'll see you all next time. Until then, thanks for watching. Leave your thoughts in the comments, as for always. And I'll see you next time. Until then, take care.